Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about the Suicide Squad. That's right, not Suicide Squad. <laughs> you remember that one from a couple of years ago. This is the Suicide Squad. It's been re-envisioned by director James Gunn, the man responsible for the first two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And he injects a lot of much-needed humor and much-needed coherence in what's aspiring to be, I guess, a series. Yes, this comes from DC Comics, and it is actually a group of the DC comic book villains that are gathered by the U.S. government to carry out some covert missions. The movie stars Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, John Cena, Idris Elba, Joel Kinnaman, Viola Davis, and the voice of Sylvester Stallone. And... There's also a breakout performance in this movie by a Portuguese actress named Daniela Melchior. And I really believe you're going to see a lot more of her. And she is one of the better things about this movie, along with Margot Robbie, who's always great to watch. This is a movie full of bombast, and I found it big and entertaining. There's not much to think about, but I really did find it enjoyable for the over two-hour running time that I was watching it. I agree with you. I found it very enjoyable also. I had a couple of problems with it. One is that I thought that it was trying to be a little too much like Guardians of the Galaxy in a few ways, which makes sense because the director is coming from the Guardians of the Galaxy series, but I thought it didn't really match the level of Guardians of the Galaxy. I really liked the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, especially the first one, and I thought this didn't quite live up to that. I know it's totally different, but... Well, it's not totally different. It's the same filmmaker. Also, the movie offered me a strange throwback to the New World pictures where there are a lot of battles in the jungles of the Philippines. And this is a much bigger budget version of a New World picture. But some of the movie, which incidentally is entirely too long, reminded me of that. That's interesting. My other comment on this movie was that I didn't find the story to be quite as compelling as I needed it to be. Now, you don't really go to these movies to watch the stories. At least I don't. But I don't know. The story just didn't really grab me. And I thought maybe the characters could have been written to make them a little more exciting. I don't know. I mean, we always like watching Harley Quinn, for example, but I think Harley Quinn's character was better fleshed out in her previous movies than in this one. I also like the standalone movie that she did, Birds of Prey. I thought that was actually pretty underrated, and I thought she was really great in that. I mean, she's always really good. Yeah, she's just always good. (laughs) But all of my comments aside, I think this was really well done, and I thought it was very entertaining. I actually thought it moved pretty quickly, and I thought there were a lot of really good things in it, and the humor is good, too, throughout, which is necessary for this kind of movie. It's too long, but I didn't mind sitting through any of it. I was actually very entertained. This is currently playing in theaters, and I would give this movie three cylinders. I would give this movie two and a half cylinders. The Suicide Squad. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.